Hello chess friends and welcome to the of Chess channel and welcome to an amazing game that I found recently on the official uh, CCRL chess website. The CCRL chess website is I think such a beautiful uh, website because on that site you can really find all of the openings that are played uh, that are possible basically in chess played by top engines and you can see really that Stockfish version played I don't know maybe the Scotch game, uh, the Italian game, the Spanish game. You can see the uh, Grob opening even in, on that chess website. You can see really even some bad openings. You you can see really the sharp openings like the king's gambit you can see really every opening that is possible in chess play by top engines and you can see their last approaches in that particular openings and particular sidelines of openings as i said if you want to have a beautiful preparation please check it out and download for yourself some pgns and then you can really have some uh, nice preparation so before we start to analyze some games i wanted to also announce it that in two days so friday at 1 p.m i will continue my series become a master in chess so if you're not familiar with this uh, concept uh, it's a live stream where i teach you basic principles and chess here's the link of uh, our previous analysis uh, i think uh, we'll have some fun and we'll have also the most important strategical and tactical concepts that can happen in a chat game so as i said i will continue now with this very very important series so let's check out now one game as promised we have here a serial versus stockfish 14 in the trompovsky attack can handle can stockfish handle the trompovsky attack uh, the Trump Popsky attack is sort of an attack that you could maybe face uh, in an early stage of the game it's maybe not the most of popular uh, openings now these days but as a surprise element you can use it because magnus carlson for instance also played a trompovsky attack in a world chess championship match so it's i think a very very uh, annoying concept to handle because it's similar to the london system the bishop the dark bishop gets early out and what uh, white wants to do now uh, after the bishop gets out wants to have sort of a blockade on dark squares uh, is trying to go more positionally and strategically into the game so i think you should be as i said really familiar also with the concept of the trompovsky because the trompovsky you could face many 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 times in in your level of chess so really really uh it's a wild wild opening so here d4 played by ethereal we have knight to f6 by stockfish and now we have bishop to g5 and uh, what you could do is of course this idea i like this approach knight to e4 then after something like bishop to h4 bishop to f4 most of the times i like to play now the move c5 so okay but here stockfish uh plays this classical system this classical defense uh with the move e6 is saying i will play now sort of a d5 move and will play, play c5 when c5 happens this uh pawn get challenged knight to c6 then queen to b6 are opportunities and also with the move queen to b6 like in the london system as i said it's similar not the same like in the london system many times you can see this defense to go with the queen to b6 and then attack uh the weak b2 pawn that is all possible because the dark square bishop of course left the defense of the b2 pawn and don't get surprised if your opponent even sacrifices the pawn on b2 because like in the london system as i said the main strategical concept and tactical concepts are uh, really really similar similar uh, don't get surprised if your opponent even sacrifices the pawn on b2 it will be sort of a uh, poison pawn variation where you could face many tactical problems so as i said uh, with this idea maybe to go with queen to b6 uh, you could have really a dynamic game so after move e6 what um, black is not allowing is of course here um, the, some double pawn structure ideas because also one of the strategical ideas of the trompovsky attack if you play for instance something like c5 could be here an annoying bishop to f6 uh, you could uh, face i think many strategical and positional problems after this line after g takes f6 uh, we can see that already the pawn structure is weakened as i said be prepared this could be also one of the approaches of of white but okay after move bishop to g5 e6 was played now what uh, white could do is of course make a progress with the move e4 it's then again really really wild dynamic game but here um the theory engine played a strategical concept as i said like in the london system similar structures with now c3 e3 c3 then a knight to f3 bishop to e2 knight from um uh here uh, b to d2 really this nice uh, nice really firm setup in the center of the board and then get use of here of this bishop's activity so this will be then a normal setup of of white so here after move e3 here we have h6 uh bishop to h4 and now knight to c6 this is really 
uh, a flexible move by stockfish stockfish is trying now to play something like d5 or d6 bishop to d7 and bishop to e7 and what stockfish wants to do is have a flexibility to castle even queenside because uh in some occasions white could also make progress some kind of some kind of progress here on the king side so that's why you have to be flexible i think you have to keep your options also to castle a little bit on the queen side sometimes not every time but uh when you get challenged too much on the king side then you should castle out of your opponent's attack it's i think also a very important strategical concept so here after move knight to c6 we have knight to d2 then we have d6 and now bishop to uh b5 pinning the knight we have bishop to d7 perfectly fine and here after move c3 you see uh ethereal has built really really this firm setup the bishops are active bishop on h4 very active bishop on b5 very active knight uh, is on a so far good square maybe it can be improved or c4 if it's possible and then with knight to f3 all of the pieces would be on a natural square so we have now g5 and that's i think now uh, this first surprise by stockfish but when we think about it harder it's actually a good move because uh, here after move bishop to e7 you don't have this square for the queen and as we said after move g5 and bishop to g7 queen to e7 uh black could have then a flexibility here uh, to castle queen set to castle king set so that's why g5 really really brilliant move so we have bishop to g3 queen to e7 we have a4 uh, here probably ethereal um was considering that uh, an early queen side castling could be met with an early flank attack here uh, on the queen side so that's why a4 perfectly fine we have bishop to g7 we have h3 normal ideas uh also in the london system you play many times this move h3 and then you hide with the bishop to h2 and then this bishop stays still on this very active diagonal so we have now e5 immediately breaking through and the problem is now this idea bishop to c6 bishop to c6 here to take uh, d takes uh, e5 is not working because after d takes e5 you cannot really include this knight into the game because first of all you have some worries around the square uh, g2 so that's why taking out is not an option here so after move e5 we have knight to e2 played by ethereal and now kingside castling here by stockfish so casting also by ethereal and now queen to e8 and this is um sort of maneuver that i've seen many times in the king's indian defense and the structure is becoming more and more like in the king's indian not the same again but um, when we have similar pawn structures then we have also similar tactical and strategical motives now with the move queen to e8 uh, stockfish is announcing a potential f5 move when for instance this knight moves then f5 and then with queen to uh, h5 the queen could come very very active into the game then f4 is also a nice breakthrough that uh, could be used so as i said this is now really really a brutal preparation by the fish so here bishop to d3 um here ethereal is announcing also a uh, likes for attack because uh here with the move e5 with the move g5 stockfish has of course uh improved its position in the center and also on the flanks but when we push some pawns then we leaving also some spaces behind we can we, uh, we can notice that now the likes squares are becoming now a strategical problem for the stockfish engine so king to h8 getting out of some potential attacks with a queen to b3 the king could be endangered on g1 then you cannot push of course uh the pawn on f5 so that's why stockfish gets out of the range on life force so we have now e4 uh probably uh, this move should not be played because you're leaving a little bit your f4 unprotected maybe it's like the better idea is here to play knight to c1 getting sort of a maneuver and then with c4 maybe b4 to continue simply the pressure here uh, on the queen side so i think it's maybe a slightly better idea at least uh, my stockfish engine suggests this move as a better choice uh, because now with the move e4 at least we're knowing now what to do because here stockfish is saying okay you have left now the f4 i'm protected i'm going to use the square immediately so now the knight on f4 cannot be uh, cannot be prevented anymore so we have now bishop to h2 getting out of the attack of the knight and now simple knight to f4 like in the king's indian like in the, the perch defense modern defense and similar structures we are seeing now the same strategical and tactical ideas knight uh, sorry let's go back sorry i just pushed okay let's go back let's go to this uh moment 
So here knight to uh, knight to h5, we have bishop to h2, and now with knight to f4, what you can do is of course simply to take because you don't want to tolerate uh, your opponent's pieces here on your side of the board. So that's why this knight to f4 was very important maneuver. We have now g takes f4, and now after move knight to f3, it's obvious that now uh, the theory engine is trying to protect this square here. The h4, uh, the h5 square is uh, at least the theory engine is getting new pieces into the defense. So we have now knight to e7 here stockfish realizes that this knight on c6 okay it's controlling maybe some squares here on the queen side but it's not used in the attack so that's why this maneuver here knight to g6 knight to uh, h4 is now really really a beautiful maneuver of the knight so we have now king to h1 knight to uh, g6 we have queen to b3 attacking now the weak uh, b7 pawn and then i'll simply uh, rook to uh, rook to b8 uh, you don't want to of course play uh, b6 okay you could do that but uh, now i think you're one a little bit also on light course and you don't want to weaken the pawn structure when you don't have to do that so that's why rook to b8 is always much much better than uh, to play b6 so now we have a5 we have queen to a7 now stockfish wants to trade off this very important knight this knight is the only good defensive piece in front of white's king so that's why knight to h4 is now the main goal so rook from f to d1 we have knight to h4 knight takes h4 queen to h4 and now uh, we have um, d takes e5 after bishop to e5 uh, we can see that the bishop is coming more and more into the game here i think uh, a mistake would have been here to take out with the pawn because okay you are still uh, fixing your pawn but you're also blocking out your own bishop so that's why bishop to e5 is better because uh, in some occasions we could then liberate our bishop's activity with the move f3 and then uh, we could really have a nice uh, nice messed up position against our pawn's king so here f3 here ethereum is blocking the potential f3 move by black we have now queen to h5 we have rook to f1 uh, and now rook to g1 this move queen to h5 was of course very important to protect the f7 square now the rook can be liberated and the rook can now attack the g file after move rook to g1 the idea is clear uh, pardon me after rook to g8 the idea is clear because now the only um, attack that you can get is here on the g file nothing else can happen i think that here on the queen side uh, not so many things can happen okay we have this weak b7 pawn maybe we have also the c7 pawn but basically the game is uh, transposing more and more simply uh, to white side uh, white is getting more and more endangered in this position so here a uh, rook to f2 the theory engine is um, um protecting now the weak g2 square but uh, when we see that we have lost now the rook connection the rook connection is one of the most important things in middle game stages so that's why losing the rook connection without any compensation is actually not good and here stockfish is announcing here an immediately uh, g file attack with rook to g7 and now with rook to g8 we are building of course this very important rook battery we have bishop to b5 uh, we want of course here when we think about it harder to trade off um, this life will be if that happens then uh black is uh, continuing the game with this bad bishop on e5 which is used now basically as a part of the pawn chain so that's why here stockfish doesn't want to uh, get this one with play simply c6 uh, kicking away the bishop we have bishop to c4 and now rook to g8 look at this battery really really uh brutal stuff already here we have bishop to f1 played by um ethereal if you take here uh, the pawn on b7 then it's really game over because then you get the tactical shot you should be familiar also with this tactical shot on h3 uh, many times this bishop to h3 sacrifice works in king's indian defenses modern defense perch defense uh, stuff so bishop to h3 can be met of course here and it's basically the game is over you cannot take uh, g takes h3 then queen to h3 and you see you lose the battle uh, here around the square uh, you, uh, G, uh, g2s if you take even further uh, here queen to f7 has to be played i think you have to sacrifice the queen for the rook and this is simply game over so really really uh, brilliant tactical possibility so that's why bishop to f1 has to be played in order to protect further the g2 square so we have now uh, rook to um, g5 we have queen to c2 again if you try something like queen takes b7 now uh this move can be met with uh, here bishop to e6 first and now even if you take queen to c6 then queen to g6 is here a brilliant brilliant possibility now this triple battery 
on the g file i think will cause now many many problems here for uh for black uh, here for instance in this particular position even if you try something like queen to g, uh, b6 then this tactic is always working bishop to h3 you see g takes h3 now is sacrificed uh you can take but now with queen to g1 the game would be simply over so this is now one of the tactical motifs that we could should consider in the continuation of the game so after move rook to g5 we have queen to uh, c2 we have bishop to e6 now queen to uh, d2 so many moves now played by um, the theory engine just in order to improve the uh the queen's activity the queen has to be uh, protective here and at least we're attacking now from white's perspective this weak f4 pawn so now king to h7 we have rook to h uh, rook to a4 now queen to g6 and now comes this idea bishop to f4 but uh okay black has lost the pawn but now after bishop to f4 queen to f4 bishop to h3 is still working because uh here you cannot take g takes h3 is not working because you get rook to g1 you can maybe hide your king to h2 but now it would be a beautiful sacrifice rook to h1 king to h1 and now queen to g1 would be a beautiful beautiful checkmate so this uh is not working so that's why after move uh bishop to h3 queen to h2 has to be played and now bishop to e6 and okay we have now a new position where it's about equal but uh, still i like more this brutal brutal battery uh, of blacks on the on the g file the bishop uh, is very 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 active on both of these diagonals d5 breakthroughs are possible c5 are is a possibility so the flexibility of the pawns in the center gives also a pleasant game i think here for, for black so now comes one of the critical moments of the of the game queen to f4 was played and um, this is maybe not the best of moves here by the theory engine maybe g4 is the only move that is defensive here for for white uh, because what black could do now is of course an h4 move uh, h5 move just in order to break and enter here on the h5 but now this move can be met with a6 this is really top engine stuff i would not come myself with these ideas uh this is simply uh simple usage by my, uh, of the engine by myself so these are really the suggested moves by top engine so after move a6 you see b takes a6 now for instance this move rook to d4 is suggested but now with king to uh king to g7 this is now the basic defensive goal of white this move f4 kick away the rook and basically black does have to react immediately can play now h takes uh, g4 but now f5 comes into the game and now with the move g3 you have to play this counter attack here white takes queen black takes also queen but now with the move g takes um f7 we have here this idea rook to uh, h8 and from this point on uh the game is evaluated as equal for both sides but the problem about this move g4 is that it can it it can be met with of course with this move that we have analyzed now with the move h5 but you can also play a very very brutal move d5 and now for instance if f4 happens then we can take rook to g4 and even if you proceed here with uh with the move rook to uh with the move f5 in order to attack the queen then you get simply rook to g1 so these ideas uh are not working so after move d4 uh basically uh white should proceed here with the move uh e5 should probably lock now the position but the problem is i think in this position that you can never really never play anymore the move f4 because then the g4 is weak still i think this is a much much better position here for, for black again i think in the near future we can expect this move h5 so again uh probably a better position here for black but uh, this move queen to f4 instead of this move g4 is causing now many problems because the queen is getting out of the defense the queen was very good uh, on the defensive side now it's again moving to new square where uh it's not active anymore now stalker proceeds with the move c5 this move is very important because we want now to play d5 and maybe even d4 creating here a passport we have now king to g1 we have now rook to g3 never ever uh, allowed this move g4 by by white we have seen the move g4 was in particular cases the only defense that uh white could have played but now with rook to g3 this idea is not working anymore so we have now e5 here ethereal is trying to split this small pawn chain but of course now d5 here by uh stockfish stockfish creates this very flexible pawn structure in the center of the board we have now b3 and now bishop to f5 simply improving all of the pieces really really uh small uh 
advantage here for Stockwish, but in every move, Stockwish is just uh, squeezing its opponent with just improvements of minor pieces of queens or rooks. So in every move, Stockwish is improving just a piece and has now even a better uh, setup here. So we have queen to d2, we have now d4. This move is very, very important because uh, it seems like a... Um, um, risky move because you're sacrificing the pawn but what stockfish wanted to prevent is this rook to protect the, uh, the fourth rank you see now why because after move d4 c takes d4 now rook to h3 is coming and you cannot take out uh the rook and now the main goal is the move uh, queen to h5 and this move cannot be pre prevented anymore so you see with this move uh, c, uh, c takes d4 stockfish got some time because no trades of pieces are possible now on the fourth rank on the fifth rank so uh, it was really really a nice attacking move so here after move rook to h3 the only defensive move is again this move g4 but now it's a little bit too late because bishop to g4 is working we have f takes g4 queen to g4 you can cover now with the rook but now with queen to uh, h4 look at this uh how important this d4 move was now the rook is not attacking the queen anymore now we have this g file attack here in the continuation we have bishop to uh bishop to uh, d3 attacking the king king to h8 takes takes and now after move uh bishop to e4 here ethereum has to sacrifice back the piece because for instance if you try to escape if you don't play bishop to e4 then you get checkmated you can protect it anymore here you get a couple of checks for instance uh, also rook to h3 then here queen to f3 then you have to hide with the king king to e1 and now rook to h1 you can cover yourself with bishop to f1 but again it would be a checkmate so you cannot really protect yourself anymore uh, in this position nothing can be done uh, so it's uh, it's simply a uh, bad continuation if you strike queen to g1 then rook to g3 is then simply winning the game so every move that you make is simply losing here for white so that's why bishop to e4 the only move that prolongs the game bishop uh, takes uh, here queen takes bishop on e4 we have uh, queen takes uh, queen to g2 queen takes g2 king to g2 but now a very very important move rook to h4 which is now a brutal beautiful endgame technique by the fish because after rook to h4 what you could do is maybe here the move uh, uh d takes c5 but this is not working because you get this one rook to h uh, rook to a4 we have b takes a4 and now the only move that is winning for black is the move a6 if you don't play this move for instance if you play uh here something like i don't know h5 then you could uh, get this one you get here simply a6 and then if you play uh, b takes a6 then this pawn is marching uh, marching and it's simply game over so that's why after move um, uh, rook to uh, rook to h4 the only defensive move that white is here is now rook to c4 but now with the move b6 stockfish is protecting everything uh here we have uh, a takes b6 a takes b6 and now uh we have d5 again a new beautiful end game move here by stockfish uh, rook to d4 because whatever you do for instance uh, if you try here rook takes d4 c takes d4 okay you could push now the pawn on d6 but the there is still time for black's king to catch the pawn so uh, even if this pawn is moved this is still winning for uh, for black and you see now these two pawns are simply too stretched all over the board so the king cannot compete with both of these pawns maybe uh, white's king can catch one pawn but you cannot catch the other one so it's now completely winning again game for for uh, for black so after move rook to d4 we have seen d6 we have king to f8 we have uh, rook to c1 king to ex first improving the position of the king we have now f6 very important move to split this uh, small pawn chain we have rook to uh, b8 here stockfish gets the king on an active square we have a rook king to e6 rook takes we have pawn takes on e5 we have now rook to rook to c6 and row rook to d5 here uh stockfish get challenged with the move d7 king takes d7 and now we have rook to d3 when we evaluate now this position uh it's obvious that it's a winning game for for black because first of all this uh king is cut off from uh, the connection and uh, now we should simply push this pawn so we have now rook to b6 rook to d6 rook to b8 we have now uh, this maneuvers here very important move again by stockfish rook to f4 to cut off uh, here the king from from the uh, from the defense we have e4 king to g3 now rook to uh, f3 a check now again simply cutting off pushing the pawn further nothing can be done the king is included into the game uh, here stockfish simply push this pawn and now after move rook king takes b3 in this position ethereum 
here we resign so why did the resign as we said the king is simply to cut off we have here this possibility rook to e8 now for instance we can just uh, push the pawn further we're simply pushing it we're not allowing again this king to go into the game and now after a couple moves this is the maneuver rook to uh d4 for instance and then we can play with our king to uh, d2 and no checks are possible in the next move we're simply promoting to queen so brilliant brilliant game in the tropovsky attack by by stockfish i really enjoyed it a lot uh, really brutal brutal uh the is uh, really every move is uh, really a precision and that's why i enjoyed the game because as i said the tropovsky you meet many many times maybe this is the fence you can choose so uh be prepared i think the tropovsky is a very very often uh, played maybe in an intermediate level that you could face many many time so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really enjoyed it a lot if you want to see more brutal attacks like this check out my comment chat games play by computer series with some more games played by stockfish alpha zero lila zero and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course